All right, guys, I'm back. Sorry about that. My microphone died. It's hilarious. I tell you guys, oh, I don't want to upgrade to Windows 10 because Windows 10 is unstable, and then my drivers must have crashed, and my microphone stopped working right in the middle of the stream. But it works now, as you can hear. Okay. Uh, but that's the thing. That's, like, the one thing that goes wrong with Windows 8 is that every once in a while my mic turns off. I just restart the software, and it works again. Outside of that, I don't have any problems with Windows 8 ever. Like, I never get a crash. Nothing. It's just the most stable operating system I've ever used in my entire life. Seriously. <clears throat> okay, anyway. What I was saying was... Um, and by the way, I was trying to em uh, emulate that meme from... Um, you ever seen... Uh, fuck. Pulp Fiction? Where it's fucking... Uh, oh god, what's his name? <laughs> the guy from fucking... Uh, Saturday Night Fever. Why the hell can I remember his name? The guy who also played in Face Off. John Travolta. It's John Travolta's character, and he's looking around, and he's like... You ever seen that meme? <laughs> so there you go. Anyway, no, I'm not muted, you idiots. And people who keep spamming muted are going to get banned from stream chat for spamming for being idiots because they think I'm stupid. I can see when audio is coming out on my setup and when it's not, dumbass. You can't fool me. I'm not an idiot. Okay. Oh, shit. I bought another Heather now. Ugh. Okay. YouTube got to the dollar said, Oh, the mic's off? The mic was off the whole time, huh? <laughs> you know what's funny? It was actually time to split the part anyway. So, actually, nothing was lost. It was perfect time to split the part right there. So. Okay. Let's continue. Okay. <clears throat> You can fool me on many things. One thing you will not fool me on is if my mic is working or not because I can see it's working. <laughs> okay. There we go. Just keep buying and then keep crafting and then keep selling and then keep training. That's what I'm here for. Tonight is the Alteration Magic Training Night. Very nice. How do I not hear myself with my headset? Because there's no echo. What are you talking about? I'm not... What I'm hearing is not from the PC. I'm hearing the actual audio feed from my console. I do it way differently than most other streamers. Most other streamers have everything go through their PC, and then they actually hear the audio feed from their PC. I don't hear that. I'm hearing directly from my console. So I don't hear my... There's no way I could hear my own voice. My voice is running through my PC, not through my console. See? But uh, most other streamers do it... Everything goes through their PC, and therefore they got a lot of issues with echo of their voice and all kinds of shit going on. I don't have to deal with any of that, because I do my setup way differently. <clears throat> Bar Ranger Zero, you are welcome. He says, thank you for entertaining us. That's what I'm here for, to have a good time. And tonight, like I said, I knew tonight would be just kind of grinding, and would not be any questing at all. And I'm okay with this. I hope you guys are too, just chilling with me tonight for a couple hours in, in uh, Morrowind. All right. Is this 1080p 60 frames per second? No, it's 1080p. It's not 60 frames per second. I can't do both, sadly. And that's really not even my PC's fault. That's Twitch's fault. Because Twitch will not allow high enough bitrate for me to do it. I want to do it. I want to do 1080p 60 frames. I used to do it on YouTube. Remember the two years I streamed exclusively on YouTube? I was doing 1080p 60 frames every single day there. But I can't do it on Twitch because their bitrate still to this day is not high enough. I really wish they would allow me to do a, a better bitrate, but they don't let me. Phil's audio took me $1.30 and said I'm muted. Uh, no, I'm not. But thank you very much for that tip. I appreciate it. We're now up to 40 bucks And climbing. Getting ever closer to the tips goal tonight. So thank you, guys. Ever closer to the return of the vest. All right. More alchemy. No, I killed Phil. I did not get a haircut. I don't know how you think I could get a haircut because all haircut places are closed. Which sucks ass. And I really need a haircut. My hair is too fucking long. Okay. And now it's time to sell again, right? Um, Prince Yoshio tipped me $30. A ginormously positive tip. Thank you very much. He says, if you're on a boat and PWW's a snow car were in the water drowning... 
You can only save one of them. Who would you say? I would row away and laugh maniacally. Ha 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 ha! There you go. So thank you, <laughs> Prince Yoshio, for a $50 tip. Excuse me, a $30 tip. <laughs> thank you, Prince Yoshio, for a $30 tip. I appreciate that very much. $70. Actually, in truth, you know, in truth, PW Dubs, I really don't feel has ever has bad intentions. I just think he gets too worked up. I honestly think Snow Carl actually was someone who was trying to, like, diss me all the time and do stuff, like, underhandedly. I do. I believe that. So, I would definitely, I would say PW Dubs. How about that? How about that? I'll be nice. Okay. I take all your monies. There we go. Well, now PW Dubs says, I love you very much. <laughs> See, I, I don't believe PW Dubs is a malicious person. Like I said, I think he gets caught up with detractor memes and stupid shit. But I don't think he's mali actually malicious in his intent. I think Snow Carl actually was. He was someone who was here, who was in detractor chats and stuff. And was like, oh, hey, Snow Carl, say this to get a rise out of Phil. Huh, Snow Carl, go cheer and say this to get a rise out of Phil. And he was trying to be a dick and derail my stream. So I don't think PW Dubs is like that, to be honest. So, um, okay. So... Maybe I'm wrong, but, you know, that's at least the impression I get. Buy more. Oh, I need to rest and, and meditate on what I've learned. Okay. Fair enough. Actually, before that... All right, I'm intrigued. Actually, no, I should just do this now. <laughs> All right, here we go. Uh, Beastbot gives it a sub to African American Carl. Congratulations. <laughs> All right. All right. Oh, what are we doing? Intelligence and willpower. Damn, willpower times five. Dude, that's huge. And of course, uh, I don't need. I don't need personality. I totally do not need personality at all. I don't need it. Um, that would be a waste. I think either endurance. Yeah, I'm gonna go endurance again. Fuck it. Okay. Um. An adventurer, I presume. Hold on. I gotta... I, oh, wait. I did craft. I need to well, buy and sell more. Greetings. Oh, wait. I have to try I have to pass the time. I didn't pass all the time yet. Let me buy a bunch of ingredients. And then I'll sleep more to pass the time so they'll get their money back. Beesbog gives this up to Wintry Mix Carl. What the fuck is with all these different Carls? Wintry Mix Carl. Slightly wet sleep, Carl. <laughs> uh, excuse me. Okay. The Carl gang rise up. Come on, man. We had to know these gangs. We had the fucking Baby Man Gaming Gang l last year. We don't need a Carl gang. Italian sauce in my blunt tip for $4.20 is Little Caesar's best pizza, my dude. I only had Little Caesar's once. I was not impressed. I don't know if it was just my local Little Caesars wasn't good, but I seriously was not impressed by the Little Caesars I had. I thought it was very, very generic, bland, and mediocre. <clears throat> and if you don't believe me, go check the DSP Tries It from a million years ago back when I lived in Connecticut when I actually reviewed it, because I didn't really like it. Okay. Uh, oh, let me see here. For, for us without a lot of money, Little Caesar's just God likes his Polish fraud. Well, here's the thing. Remember, I used to also have very little money. I told you guys what I used to do. Domino's in the mid-2000s, so we're talking like 15 years ago, they used to have a 555 deal. Any pizza, any medium pizza, any toppings, $5 if you order three. So I would do like Philly cheesesteak pizza, and then I would do like, um, like all the meats... And then I would do just like a standard like cheese and pepperoni. 
And I would no lie eat three medium Domino's pizzas twice a day. So that would make two meals of the day would be Domino's pizza for three to four days straight. So $15 would feed me for three to four days straight. I was incredibly unhealthy. It was pure fat and grease. Awful for your body. But that's what I put myself through. When I used to work at Best Buy, I there was a McDonald's outside the Best Buy in the same parking lot. And I would get up in the morning, go there, and buy two McDoubles. And I would eat two McDoubles in my car. I'd go to work. On the way out of work, I would go back to McDonald's. And I would get a McDouble and two McChicken sandwiches. And I would go home and eat that for my dinner. So that's what, $5? $5 to fill myself all day. That was what I ate all day long. I'm, I've been there with you guys. Like, I know people don't believe me when I, I tell you these stories from my past. They're like, oh, I don't believe. That's true. I used to be very, very poor. And I also used to be in a very bad, you know, position health-wise. Like, really gross. The things I used to do to my body. And uh, I hear you guys that have to go through those sacrifices to make ends meet. Because I used to be in the same exact situation as you. Okay, um... Alright. YouTube God sent me a dollar and says, it's Shadow... Oh, yeah. Oh, I, YouTube God, I know exactly what you're talking about. I don't want to talk about it on my stream. I really don't. I don't want to derail the stream with negative talk, but I know exactly what you're saying. Um, it's fucked up. It's a fucked up... YouTube is a really fucked up place. Let's just put it that way, YouTube God. Thank you for the dollar tip. Carl Weezer to twenty dollars said, "Say my name sexily. You cannot say the name Weezer in a sexy way. I'm sorry, but thank you for the twenty dollar tip." Uh, I see toes. Carl to me dollars said, "Are you as cool as my toes?" Oh my god! So that's twenty two dollars in tips. That gets us up to ninety six dollars in tips, guys. <clears throat> thank you very very much. I appreciate that. We are almost at the tips goal. Let's craft. Here we go. Oh, uh, let's see. An anonymous gifter gifted a sub to a disgusting name I'm not going to say. Beastbot gifted a sub to Acid Rain Carl. Oh, my God. There's an Acid Rain Carl. Colts MVP 923 did a 300-bit cheer, which actually is the top cheer of the night. He says, how was your day? I just got here. Are you streaming still, or is this ending? I'm streaming for until about 9.15, so just like, like 50 more minutes or so. Uh, day was good. Great progress in Final Fantasy VII. Um, which was a lot of fun. And my ear feels a lot better. It doesn't hurt at all anymore. The infection's pretty much gone. I just need to keep putting the medicine in my ear so it feels better and doesn't come back. Um, and my throat actually sounds a lot better today, too, if you can't tell. My throat recently sounded pretty bad. It actually sounds a lot better now. So basically good on all fronts. Okay, thank you very much to Colts MVP. Uh, 923. Uh-oh. I just ran out of water, guys. Give me a minute. I was going to run next door to the bathroom and refill my, my thermos. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. <clears throat> Excuse me. It looks like we got even more shout-outs to do. Holy crap. Um, Oh, no, we don't. It's just like someone gifting us up to something disgusting. So, Crabcock did a 301 bit cheer. So, Crabcock has regained his top cheering position of the night. Let's get him up on the leaderboard here. <clears throat> here we go. Thank you for all the cheering tonight, everybody. 
Oz or Ahase Ten. I have no idea how to say their name. Took me a dollar thirty. Says oh, my wife and I originally found you through detractor means, but after watching your streams, we realized how hard they try to make you look bad. And genuinely, we enjoy your streams. So thanks for the content and keep it up. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Here's the truth of the matter. If I was a real scumbag and I had nothing positive to do on stream and really, you know, everything they said was true, people wouldn't check out my streams. I wouldn't have a 12-year legacy of people who like my stuff and people wouldn't come and be supportive every night. They just wouldn't. It's the truth of the matter. So, obviously, I'm here for a reason, right, guys? <clears throat> Spartan King just took me $4.20 and said, How's it going, Phil? Vest hype. That's right, Spartan King. You did it. Thank you very much, guys. We have hit the tip's goal. We've actually exceeded the tip's goal, ladies and gentlemen. It's time for the vest. Yes. 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 The vest. Yes. You guys know how to invest. In the best. That's right. The one and only Maverick did a 302-bit cheer and said Kappa and became the top cheerer. But then D-Man 11 did a 310-bit cheer and said, let's keep the good vibes going tonight. All right, thank you guys. You guys are being super supportive tonight, and I appreciate that. Thank you, D-Man. D-Man is now currently the top cheerer of the night. 310-bits. Yes, thank you, D-Man. <clears throat> All right. Thymaster cheered and said... Maybe you could give five subs to random viewers if you hit a hundred vest streak. I mean, I have to see how things are going. You know, that's that's money that I need to spend on bills and stuff. But let's see what happens. Um, I was thinking doing something celebratory, like doing a, something special on that stream, uh, that's out of the ordinary, um, or maybe like I said, have a special new vest or something. But let's see what happens between now and then. We, you know, let's not get ahead of ourselves. We don't know if we're gonna hit a hundred vest streak. That's kind of ridiculous and presumptuous when we've only just hit sixty-two. Okay? <clears throat> Let's not go crazy here. Alright, they only have 105. Shit. See, I don't like this. Oh, well, I'll just sell it for that. Oh, not cancel. <laughs> there we go. Alright, I need to go train again. All right, I'm in Here we go. go. Whoa. 31. I went from like level 7 to 31, and we're still going. Pretty awesome. Great progress here tonight. <clears throat> there we go. Uh, Hammett F2B has resubscribed for 8 months. Thank you, Hammett, for 8 months of support. I appreciate that. Let's see... Has enough time passed? Yes! Sell. <clears throat> I'll just sell him for what she has. And now I gotta buy again. <laughs> buy and sell. That's how it works. Mmm. <clears throat> I only have two more, yeah, two more of those potions, so I gotta buy more. Buy and sell. Here we go. Nose vacuum cheers that you should steal one of Walmart's employees' vests. That's kind of messed up. No, what I will do is over the next few weeks, if this pattern continues and if, you know, the street continues, I'll just start looking online because, frankly, I don't know if stores around here are going to be open. What sucks is, like, I really would like to get a, special, a, a better vest or a special vest for the warmer months. And to celebrate if we hit a great streak like 100. But I don't know what I'm going to find online. You know? Oh, fuck. I don't want that. I don't know what I'm going to find online. I don't know if I'm going to find something that fits. I don't know if I'm going to find something that I like. It sucks. You want to be able to see stuff in person and you can't. You know, it's actually funny. I just read an article right before the stream. So everyone's been doing spring cleaning because everyone's been stuck at home for like, uh, seriously, like a month and a half. So everyone cleared stuff out and donated stuff and or sold it to like thrift shops. And now the thrift shops are insanely overloaded with secondhand clothes and they can't sell them because the stores can't open. They're all like, we have like warehouses full of this shit and we can't fucking sell anything because they won't open the goddamn stores so we don't know what to do. 
And it's funny because I guarantee you, like, there's certain places, there's a store nearby, it's called Plato's Closet. What they do is they take donated clothes, or actually not really donated, but sold, clothes that are sold, uh, that are relatively unused, and they let you buy them for discounted rates. You get really good name brand clothes from this place. And I actually have a few things now that I own that I bought from there that are perfectly nice. Um, I bet they would have vests there. I'd be able to get like a cool vest, but if they, I can't, I gotta be able to go there and they're, they, well, they can't open because it's fucking pandemic. Uh, M, M Hayes 10, 19, took me a dollar 30, said, I love watching your streams. I, I watched your playthrough or, or part one and part two on YouTube. I'm being able to catch a live stream. Keep it up. Very nice. Yeah, tonight, just so you know, tonight we're not doing anything exciting. This whole point of the stream was side, like side questing and grinding and basically leveling up. That was the whole point of tonight's session. So I knew I wasn't doing anything interesting. I've been telling people for two days, don't expect anything great on this Morrowind stream tonight. But so far, we had a lot of progress here leveling up uh, all my stuff. So I'm not complaining. Uh, well, Zephyr is curious. says, I can't find that fat, lazy lizard. you have any ideas? How do you catch a lizard? I have no idea. How would I know anything about a lizard? I never had a lizard. I never had a pet lizard. I've never really had any extra interactions with a lizard. Now that I think about it. I never knew anyone who even had a pet lizard. Howard had a pet turtle, but I never knew anyone who had a pet lizard. <laughs> um, Crab Cock did a 311 bit cheer. So that brings us up to uh, him being the top cheerer. Let's get him on the leaderboard. Again, thank you guys. The cheer war tonight is helping a lot too, so thank you guys. Man Getter. Tip me a dollar, so what about a cheer goal? You can't do a cheer goal. I don't know if other streamers do it, but it's this simple. I talked to, to, to Twitch about this. They said, you can do sub goals all you want. You can do tips goals all you want. But you got to be careful what you do when it comes to uh, cheers. Because there's specific legal rules around cheers. And they basically said, stay away from any kind of goals or, or raising of, of bits. And you should be all right. So I've always done that. Okay. <clears throat> okay. She has no money, does she? She's 78, so... Okay, how much money do I have? 866. It's pretty interesting how they did stuff in Morrowind, but to be honest, would you understand this system? This is pretty broken. Like, I didn't really put much effort into this tonight besides just time killing. And my alteration magic is up to 37 already. Like, I actually wonder, is my alteration better than the conjuration which I'm using to heal? Right? Like, it might be. Uh, how do you see my stats? Restoration's at only at 29. Alteration's at 38. Oh my god. So I've been trying to heal the whole time. And it's only at 28. Yeah, I just leveled up to, to like 39 in a thing just because I paid for it, right? What is this, what is, um, what is the skill that lets you teleport? Recall. Does anyone know what kind of magic recall is? Because I probably want to level that up too. Why is it for that I hope one day you open up a successful restaurant? I would really love that, but I just don't foresee it ever happening. Alteration? Is that true? So I, by raising alteration, my recall spell works better now, too. No one's saying anything. Um, I'm going to try something. First, let's sleep. Okay. 
Recall is mysticism, I'm being told. Okay, who trains in that? He does. So I gotta make money, and then I could train up my mysticism, too. I wanna train up everything. Restoration, mysticism. Every, like, and, and every, yeah. Let's, let's sell. Ah, oh, fuck, I gotta sleep again. Let's sell, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna train mysticism. Cuh. What can I do for you, friend? All right. There we go. Do I have any more, or did I sell them all? No, I sold them all. So I should buy the ingredients, craft, and then I should go. Uh, then I should go and and train my mysticism. What a what a session of, of Morrowind this has turned out to be. Good lord. Uh, wow, excuse me. Oh, that was disgusting. I'm sorry, guys. Really gross. <laughs> really disgusting. Oh, shit. I think I bought something extra. What? Why was it refused? That was weird. Oh. Can I ask Kat to find a vest for me at work? I don't think there would be one there because, you know, stores now aren't selling, like, like, like jackets and things like this. You know what I mean? Like, they're not selling this kind of stuff when you go to, like, a place that has seasonal stuff. You'd have to go to, like, I was thinking I was go to, like, a secondhand store and see what kind of vests they have. I don't think I could get, like, a nice new vest right now. It's not the right season. They'd probably be selling, like, summer shit, right? That's what I would think. <clears throat> Oh, fuck. What did I buy? I keep buying the wrong shit. No! I am really messing up. I don't know why I'm buying the wrong stuff. Now I'm getting kind of hot. Because I'm wearing the vest. So I'm going to turn my air conditioner lower. So it'll turn on more and cool me down. Secret Squirrel thinks I should join a biker gang. Yes, they do give out vests, but not this kind of vest. They give out patches, you know, leather vests. Actually, they call them cuts, right? And then they put patches on their cuts as they earn them in the in the gangs. But I don't fucking qualify for that. I'm just a little pansy who plays video games all day. I'm not a badass riding a motorcycle. Come on. Who the fuck what do you think this is? <laughs> Come on. Is my air conditioner broken? No, it's just that I had it on, on a level where it wasn't going on as often because it's not hot tonight in the office. But now that I'm wearing the vest, I need it. Okay. Funny thing is I'm not counting, yet I'm getting 55 of each ingredient every single time. I don't know how. I just did it like multiple times, but I'm not counting. I mean, it's just happening. Oh, this is I should rest again. Okay. I should rest. I leveled up a ton tonight. It was like this is my third or fourth level already. So we're definitely doing intelligence and willpower. The only see the only boost will give me is personality. I don't really need that. Maybe I'll go to agility now. I'll go to agility. There. <laughs> okay. So now. How much money do I have? 741. Let's train my mysticism. Three blessings, sir. Three blessings. Sounds good. I have to put the vest on in the game still? I feel full I don't have a vest in this game. <laughs> A slave? What's he talking about? No, I've never dialed 911 by accident. That'd be pretty tough to do, don't you think? It's not a normal combination of numbers you would normally use. What can I do for you, friend? Shut up and leave me alone.
here we go. This is an endless loop of free levels. Endless loop. <clears throat> Jerk store, you're a disgusting individual. Okay. Nipiggy and Bias Judy say, we ever played the original Fallout or Fallout 2 when I was younger? No, I never did play those. Um, I, I wasn't a big PC gamer. In fact, the PC gamers I played, in the 90s I played classics like Doom, Duke Nukem, Hexen, um, Warcraft, uh, all the way up to Warcraft 3, which I played in the early 2000s, uh, Diablo 1 and 2, and then I got into first-person shooters like Unreal Tournament, Quake 3 Arena, that kind of stuff. Then in around the first half of the 2000s, I stopped being a PC gamer. And I just basically was traveling, playing Street Fighter, and that was it. I completely cut myself off from basically playing any kind of video games at home. I was just Street Fighter, Street Fighter, Street Fighter, Street Fighter constantly. And it wasn't until the second half of the 2000s, around 2007, when I basically quit competitive Street Fighter fully and started playing games at home again with consoles and everything. So uh, I didn't play the Fallouts because I think they came out during that time period. Uh... Spurger King Whopper, no, I don't care about Chris Hansen now also doing some kind of a video shout out because it's just another idiot who paid him to do it. Um, and so I don't give a fuck. Just like Andy Dick, and I'm sure they're going to do it with every celebrity who does it now. They're going to be fucking. No, I fucked up big time. They're probably going to be paying every one of these guys to do some video about me that I'm never going to watch and care about. So let them waste their money and waste their time and circle jerk themselves in their own circles because they made a video where some pseudo celebrity said something about me. And I don't give a fuck. Alright, very nice. <laughs> there you go. <clears throat> Alright. Keep going. Ooh, no, you cannot pay me for cameos. Isn't that what it's called? Like cameo, where you're, you do a, a, a cam video and you pay the person to do it or whatever. It's called cameo. No, you cannot pay me to do that. I don't care about that shit. You want to enjoy my streams, hang out with me, have a good time on stream, and enjoy gaming together and have some fun conversation. And you want to contribute to the stream? Sure. You want to see me do a fucking cameo? No. Fuck that. <clears throat> In reality, my Patreon has had that perk forever. My Patreon has the private Q&A video perk. And then if you want, you can make that video public. That's up to you. But the private Q&A videos are mostly for just the people who, uh... Who paid for them, you know? So, but technically, yeah, you could do it. But it's not cameo. It's some public video that goes on the internet. Unless someone wants to do that, then they could. That's their call, I guess. Okay. I wonder how much these, these people charge. Like, like that Andy Dick video, I seriously wonder how much someone got charged for that video. Apparently this new Chris Hansen one. Like, how much do these, these, these celebrities charge for this stuff? And I wonder if it's more than my Patreon. I wonder. Okay. It was $100? Yikes! One hundred dollars for a video like that? Oh my god. <laughs> Damn. Someone actually paid that? Fuck. I, wow. <laughs> wow. Holy shnikes. That's a Chris Farley quote, by the way. Holy shnikes. Yeah, I'm actually was a pretty big Chris Farley fan. Like, back when he was popular, for unfortunately, he passed away way too soon. I loved him on SNL. I loved his movies. The two that he made, I actually really loved. What was it? A Black Sheep and, and uh, was it Daddy's Boy or whatever? <clears throat> they were both great movies. They were both the same movie because they both had David Spade in them, too. But I loved both of those movies. Tommy Boy, that's what it was. Tommy Boy and Black Sheep. I love both those fucking movies. Wow. 
What a shame, man. What a shame. That guy was such a talent. Oh, fuck. It makes me sad. He's been gone for so goddamn long. It's fucking depressing. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna stop thinking about this. Someone say something to cheer me up. Quickly. Someone say something to cheer me up. L.A. Ninja? Oh, shit. He was in another movie called L.A. Ninja, wasn't he? Oh, shit. I totally forgot about that movie. I didn't... I, yeah. He played a fucking ninja or some crazy shit. Right? I totally forgot that existed. Everyone just talks about Tommy Boy and Black Sheep. That's it. No one mentions the L.A. Ninja. Okay. Thank you, White Ranger Zio. Because I'm the best. Thank you for the compliment. What are my thoughts on New Jack being the wrestler? I don't really know anything about him. I, I never saw any of his matches or nothing. I just infamously, he's someone who hurts people and tries to kill them or some crazy shit. I don't know. That's all I've heard. How much money do I have? All right, let's level up again. May you find all that you seek, traveler. Very good. I'm seriously hoping that this leveling is going to help me so much with magic coming up. I seriously hope so. Greetings to you, Cyrodiil. Wait a minute. Did I do alteration by accident? I just tried to do mysticism. I think I picked alteration. <laughs> Oops. Oops. <clears throat> All right. Why does this seller have so much gold? She never had this much before, right? Oh, wait! She only has 154 gold. I must have to sleep longer. To... No, Spurger King Whopper, I would not team up with Hulk Hogan in a tag team match against Andy Dick and Chris Hansen. What a stupid fucking thing to say. How fucking dumb. Oh, my God. I'll just sell it for... I'll just sell it for the 800. I'll give you a break. Considering how much money I've made, I'll give you a break. <clears throat> Alright. I'm assuming this is going to be the whole stream, considering I'm only streaming for about another 20 minutes. This is probably going to be our whole stream tonight. But, boy, my magic is getting leveled up so good. This should be very useful. Maybe I should even do some restoration if I can find who does the restoration training. I wonder who does the restoration training. Ugh. Ugh. How old was I when I found out wrestling was scripted? I want to say it was sometime in the 90s. But I don't know exactly when. I know it was sometime in the 1990s. But I don't know 100% when. I can't remember at all. Have you ever fallen off the bed when sleeping? Not in the last 20 so years. I think I remember distinctly when I was a kid one time I did roll on the floor. I don't remember what was going on. I was very young when that happened. But it's been a million years since that happened, so... White Rangers US is one of his favorite wrestling groups is the NWO. See, I didn't watch WCW. So I didn't know anything about that until, like, years later when the NWO invaded WWE. Then I kind of learned a lot about them. But before that, I didn't know shit about it because I was never watching WCW at all. Over encumbered again. Level up. Okay. She has no money again. All right, I'm 
intrigued, go ahead. Mysticism is now 26. So I got mysticism to 30. Let's see how we're doing with stats now. So we've got... Alteration 39. Mysticism of 30. My restoration is 29. I should probably work on that. That's going to be super important. Who, who does restoration training? Ah, restoration. Okay, good. All right, all right, all right. And then we need to sleep again until I can sell these potions and make more money again. What's my opinion on Kalisto from the Lucha Dragons? Very good wrestler. From what I've seen, that's about all I know. I mean, he was on the main WWE shows years ago when Braun Strowman was just premiering. Uh, he was wrestling Braun Strowman in some crazy matches, which was really funny. Um, what a what a fucking mismatch he was in. Okay, I should buy the ingredients again, make more, and then go use the money that I have left to tra to train restoration. What I should do now is see if I can now use this magic to actually move way, way more consistently cast spells. Like, how consistently can I actually cast these spells now that I've leveled this tremendously up, right? Hopefully this is going to, like, really boost my character for the future. My magic will be amazing. Do I do grilled cheese with tomatoes on it? I, I have. I actually think that's good. I like the acidic uh, balance of that with the cheese. I've done grilled cheese with mayo. I've done grilled cheese with ham, with bacon. I've done grilled cheese with a lot of things on it. Okay. Yes, Braun apparently still has the title. He earned that WrestleMania by beating Goldberg, of all people. An amazing title match he earned for doing absolutely nothing. Because <laughs> Roman Reigns didn't want to wrestle because he's afraid with, you know, his history of leukemia that he might, uh, he might get the coronavirus. So he said, I wasn't going to wrestle WrestleMania, and then fucking Roman Reigns wins the title. So ridiculous. Alright, we gotta sleep. Leveling again. Do we level like five, six times here? All right, intelligence or willpower, and then I don't want personality. I'm gonna go for agility again. Okay. Greetings, out. Who has restoration? Yeah. It's this person over here, right? Yes. Whoa, whoa. Got a frog in your throat like I do. Holy shit, that was disgusting. Spit up a swamp rat. <laughs> well. God to me $4.20. It says, one day when you're old, uh, you'll look back at the trolling and detracting and have a good laugh. I mean, to some extent I will. Some of the things that have been said and done are just silly because they're so ludicrous. But I'll be honest, some of the things that are made up and that are spread as fact are incredibly, incredibly hurtful to me and my family and my personal life. Like, there's stuff that's happened, you know, that made things go really badly for me uh, behind the scenes as fucked up, you know? And these idiots think that it's funny and they think that it's like, oh, you know, we can just fuck with Phil constantly because it's a joke. It's not, you know? It's to the point where it's like really seriously fucked up the stuff that they do to me and it hurts me concretely behind the scenes and stuff that I don't talk about 
And, you know, that I'm not gonna never gonna laugh about that. I'm never gonna laugh about that. You know? Making my life a living hell, making my life insanely fucking stressed out and fucked up because you get a laugh out of it. Yeah, fuck off. That's not funny. All I'm gonna be like, I'm, I'm glad I don't have to put up with that shit no more when it finally ends, but I'm never gonna laugh about that stuff. It's just not funny, the stuff that they do to me. Oh, shit. I was gonna say, let's go for 770, and I went to like a thousand. Why can't I disconnect from Twitch and YouTube? It's my job, dude. This is what I do for a living. You can't just not work. <laughs> I'm just gonna stop working and make no money. That sounds like a good idea. I don't need money for the rest of my life. <laughs> Okay. So I have a ton of money now. But I need to buy the components one more time. I'm going to do this one more time. I'm going to do one more round of crafting. One more round of training. One more round of selling. And then we're going to test some of the magic and see how often it actually freaking works. Okay. Uh, an anonymous $5 tipper says, Are you concerned about the giant Asian hornets they've been finding in Washington? Well... Am I personally concerned? No. I'm not too worried. I don't think they're going to be coming around my, you know, suburban area. There's nothing here that would be interesting to them, I don't think. They're looking for, like, co entire colonies of bees to eat. What they do is they go to a beehive and they rip the heads. I'm not even kidding. They rip the fucking heads off of an entire colony, hundreds of bees. And then once they're all dead, they go inside, they eat everything. They eat their larvae, they eat the fucking honey. They eat all that shit. They're, like, basically insane cannibal monsters. Um, do they kill humans? Yeah, humans who fuck with them. And I'm not gonna fuck with them. If I see a giant hornet, I'm getting the fuck out of there. Um, and, and, you know, making sure that they get taken care of by professionals. I ain't fucking with no giant hornets, that's for sure. Um, but no, I don't think they're gonna be coming around here. You know, you know, out in the wooded areas where there's actual, like, colonies of bees living, sure. But they're not gonna come by my house or nothing. There's nothing here that they want. Ugh. Is it concerning that we have now Asian hornets here in the United States that are going to destroy the bee population and fuck up the ecosystem? Yeah, it is. They don't belong here. How the fuck did they get here? It's a good question. What the hell's going on? Nose Vacuum says, if James Charles invited me to do makeup, would I accept? Who is James Charles? Well, is it to do my makeup? I don't have makeup. I don't put on makeup. If I put on makeup, I'd probably have my wife do it because she's incredibly good at it. <laughs> but I don't wear makeup. No, I don't know who the hell James Charles is. Who the fuck is that? Is he like a, a makeup artist or something? Like a professional makeup artist? Alright, last round of crafting. Again, somehow I hit 55. I swear to God I'm not counting. I'm just hitting 55 randomly every time. Okay. He's a gamer. He's the cutest guy ever. <laughs> oh my god. He's a British aristocrat known for advances in basket weaving theory. Oh, uh, oh, great. Should I post that up on Twitter and see what people say? <laughs> All right. Now. She only has 100. So, how much money do I have? 773. So, let me train restoration. <clears throat> Such good company. Well. Oh, this person has all three. Alteration, mysticism, and restoration. I just noticed. These are all the three things that I, that I want. So there you go. Now James Charles to me a dollar thirty and says, "I'm doing your makeup. Prepare your sexy face for pounds of makeup. Sounds great. I just look covering my face with makeup, slathering it about, big gobs. <laughs> what the fuck? All right. Uh, let's sleep. Let's sell, and then we're gonna go practice this new magic that I've leveled up all night tonight." <clears throat> No, I don't remember when I fought Low Tier God on Street Fighter 4 online. Apparently people say that I did, but at the time, 
no one told me about who he was or if he was anyone who was known. At that point, I don't even know if he was a known guy in the Street Fighter community. But people have referenced the video. Apparently, there's a video, one of my videos, of me fighting him. <clears throat> How may I help you, sir? All right, let's say sell. All right, I'm gonna keep this money, this 800. I'm gonna hold on to this purposely because I want to see, uh, you know, later on if I want to spend any money on it. But but, let's try now recall. Okay. <clears throat> It worked on the first shot. It worked on the first try. Look at that. That is awesome. So I wonder if all my spells are going to work relatively almost all the time now. Um, Let's see here. Low heal. Yup. Look at that. They work almost every time. Levitate. Oh, not that. Light flow. There I go. Oh my god, this is amazing. This is fucking sick. Look, it works every time. Oh, this is cool. Oh my god. Now I'm fast as fuck, and I float through the entire game. Alright, this is so broken. Holy shit, guys. <laughs> so now I can... You know, what I need to do now... I need to raise my MP. I don't know how you do that. How you increase your MP pool. Because if I can increase my MP pool, right? Now, then I could just infinitely fly. And fly across the entire fucking game. Fly to the sky and to towers and shit. You know? Um... That's pretty good, right? <clears throat> Alright. So, good stuff, guys. <clears throat> Excuse me. Good stuff. That was a very productive session. Not only did I make some money, but now I can float. I can heal. I can teleport back to town. Like, I can do all the things that I need to do relatively easily. Because I leveled my magic. So, in two hours of me doing this tonight, which a lot of people will complain, Oh, that was so boring. I just made the game way more fun. Seriously, it made it way more viable to do that shit now, right? So, what I would say is this. Tonight, or tonight, next time around for, for, for Morrowind, here's what I would like to do. If anyone actually knows good equipment for a magic build, is that, like someone had mentioned, there's a robe that when you put it on, apparently, like, it's five times chance of magic or something. That's the kind of stuff I would definitely like to get. You know, if people could let me know, is there a way to get these items viably now to make myself, you know what I mean, to be able to use this magic crazy good? That would be amazing. And I'm that's what I'm thinking should be the next objective before I head to the story missions. Let's get all, uh, an equip load of great magic enhancing items and abilities. You know what I mean? So then when I go to the, the, the next mission, oh no, it's tough. Well, fuck that. You know, heal immediately and do this thing I need to do right away consistently. See what I mean? Uh, Crispy Pata. Resubscribe for 12 months. Thank you, Crispy Pata, for a 12-month resub. I appreciate that. So, all right. So, people are already suggesting stuff. All right, don't do that now. Because we're about to adjourn tonight's stream, everybody. This is actually the, the, the ending of tonight's Morrowind stream. So, I want to say thank you guys for our, a great stream. Let me actually save up. Okay. Let's heal up. And let's save up. And then save that information for next week. Next time around, let's go on some questing to... Uh, find maybe some really good equipment that can help me out with a magic build. Okay? Thank you, everyone, for a great stream. Thank you to Crabcock, who ended up being the overall top cheerer, even though a lot of people cheered tonight. Thank you to Prince Yoshio, who was the top tipper, with $30 tip. Thank you for letting me hit the tips goal again. 62 straight streams, which is amazing. Um, now, next week, you may be wondering, when am I playing this? I don't know, because here's why I say that. I was playing this on Saturday nights for a long time, for like over a month. And then I switched it up because I wanted to play Animal Crossing on Saturday night this week because that's when the musician K.K. Slider shows up. And people liked that. Now, I don't know if people are going to want to see that every week. You know what I mean? 
So how about this? For next week, let's leave the schedule as is. Let's have it be Animal Crossing Saturday night, Morrowind Sunday night. Then, if I get, like, if I, I basically say I don't want to do Animal Crossing on a Saturday night anymore for whatever reason, we can always switch this back. But I think for now, that combination works. Okay? Fair enough? All right, guys. Thank you. Great stream tonight. I appreciate it. And uh, have a good night.